This is Alim from Javelin, and today I would like to offer thanks to John Jim for posting this very nice challenge on the SolidWorks forum. This is a problem that a lot of SolidWorks users uh, are facing every day, where they have uh, an enclosure in an assembly. Um, as you can see, this sphere encloses a finite amount of space, and also inside he has a few pipes. What he would like to create is another part that is going to represent the cavity itself, so how, I don't know, water or, or air that's going to be inside between the sphere and the pipe. So let's switch back to the SOLIDWORKS model. Um, I have here his example containing two components, so an assembly with two components. And uh, in, in section view, I can see that actually I have quite a lot of interference between these components. And actually it looks like some areas are duplicated, uh, like the pipes belong to both uh, components. That being said, let's try to work with uh, his model without modifying it. Uh, at all. I will try to apply the same technique that I showed you in the previous video with a slight twist. So let's start by uh, inserting a dummy part or let's say actually the part of the representing the fluid, so a new part. And let's name it fluid. Let's edit it in uh, inside the assembly, so in, in, the, in the context of the assembly. I'm going to turn off the section view and let's insert the join feature. This will allow me to combine all the solid bodies belonging to all the components I'm selecting into one body. So all of them are selected. I'm going to click OK. And surprise, surprise, I'm getting an error. It says that I cannot really create one solid because in some areas there is linear contact between multiple solid bodies. So I will get what they call zero thickness geometry, which is not possible in real life. You cannot have one solid with zero thickness geometry. You cannot do, have it also in SOLIDWORKS. Fortunately, SOLIDWORKS join feature gives you another option, which is force surface contact. So it's going to identify all those linear contacts and it's going to take one of the faces uh, belonging to one of the bodies and uh, it's going to move that face just a tiny little bit in order to switch it from uh, linear contact like edge on edge contact to face on face contact and it's going to repeat that for all the linear contacts that identified let's see if this works and it seems that it did work so uh, notice also I, I hid all the components that were used for uh, in the join command. So let's open the fluid itself. And if I'm doing a section through here, I can see that everything fused nicely. Unfortunately, there are multiple cavities. So this would this is the cavity that I'm looking for, but also I have all these ones inside the pipe. So the question is how can I extract only the space between the sphere and the pipes. So let's try to do that using the intersect command that's what that was introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013. Let's select the solid body. Unfortunately, the intersect needs at least two entities in the dialog box. So let's cheat by adding the front plane in the recipe here. And let's steer the pot by clicking intersect. SOLIDWORKS is going to identify all the regions that are in completely enclosed between either the solid faces or the plan, a plane that I selected. So you can see here I have about 20 different regions. Now, how do I know which one I want to keep? So let's start by saying I want to remove all of them because I want to keep only two, right? And I'm just going to go and click or select each and every one in turn and take a look at the preview. So Let's say region one looks like it's somewhere inside. This is not what I want. Region two inside of one pipe. Region three, no. Four, no. 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 Take a look at the preview. No. 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 Let's scroll down. Go to the next one. This looks good. This is one of the hemispheres that I want. It's on the inside of the sphere. So I'm just going to deselect this region so it's not going to be removed and this is the second one so that's pretty much it that's all I need click OK and as you can see 
SOLIDWORKS was able to identify and create only the space that I want. If I'm switching back to the assembly and uh, I'm uh, showing again the components that have been hidden in the past, so let's make them visible, and I'm doing a section now, you can actually s are able to see what's, what's going on there. Uh, let's actually turn off the transparency for... Uh, for, let's go back to the assembly level, so the transparency is going to be turned off. And this time, you can see the space that I created. Only one thing I want to add to this demonstration. Notice that selecting the regions that you wanted on the uh, intersect command was kind of cumbersome. Just that clicking one at a time was, was kind of hard. So shouldn't we try a different technique? Actually, we can do that. So let me just turn off all of them and uh, pretty much recreating the intersect command. This time, I'm just going to say eliminate the outsides because these are easy to click. I know that those are the two sides of the sphere that I want to eliminate. So I'm just going to click OK and they are gone. The problem I have now, I have tons of solid bodies inside. So how do I know which one I want to keep? Uh, the other thing I wanted to do for the intersect, actually, let's make sure I'm doing this correctly. I'm going to say do not merge the result. So it's not going to create combine add situations, right? But I have lots of uh, little bodies in here. How do I know which one I want to keep? Well, let's select them. Actually, I want to select this body and I want to select these bodies. And you can see here intersect 7 and intersect 8 are the ones that you want to keep. Let's uh, hide both of them. And whatever is left is what you want to get rid of. So let's turn on the filter F5, right? In order to allow me to select directly from the graphic area, the field, all the solid bodies. So now when I press my delete key, actually I'm getting directly to the delete body command. And as you can see, those have been removed. Now let's show this again. And I need one more step which is combining them together into one body. So if you don't mind adding two extra features into tree, you can actually save time when you select the solids, solid bodies that you want to keep. Now, the last question is, where's the volume? So let's take a look at the mass properties and looks like I have this amount of cubic millimeters. Uh, I should change the units to something that would make more sense. Thank you. I hope you liked it and uh, come back for another video tomorrow.